Okay. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Apologies, y'all. This this is all new to us. <laughs> Ooh, <yes. laughs> all right, we are we are live for real now. <laughs> right. <laughs> so hopefully everybody, uh, our Facebook audience is uh, is all tuned in. We are live, live, live. Uh, and as you can see on the screen, uh, we have a topic, uh, interesting topic for this week. What are the four things you need to know before coming to Sierra Leone? Right. So um, how about, uh, yeah, we've given a few introductions up to this point. Let's jump right into it. Okay. So what's uh, one of the first things you need to do, uh, not just know, but you actually need to do before you make the trip over to uh, Salon? Yeah, so uh, you want to start with uh, the first one? Yeah, let's just go okay. down. So the first thing that before you even leave, to, in order to leave the country, besides having um, your visa, you need to have your medication and your vaccines. You, you need to have that. Um, it is so important. Why? Number one, you do need the yellow fever shot in order to go. Um, now from my experience, nobody asked me for my yellow fever card. Didn't ask me either. Right. However, the thing is you don't want to be there and then they do ask you and you don't have it, you right. know, and as well, um, you don't want to put yourself in that position to, uh, potentially get yellow fever, uh, because it is a mosquito, it is a mosquito disease. So, you know, it's transferred through mosquito. Um, so you want to be very sure, very, very, um, very careful that you get the proper medication. I had to get uh, malaria pills, which I took every day. There are different options for the malaria medication and you can use what's best for you. However, uh, definitely you need to get your malaria medication and your yellow fever shot in order to enter into the country. Yes. And that's and just, yeah. And just to add to that. Yeah. Don't um, even though as Sister Lola said, I even I didn't have anyone ask me for my yellow fever card uh, mm -hmm. when I arrived. They yeah. asked me when I was leaving, which was weird. Really? I was like, it's in my suitcase. Yeah. A guy oh, asked me that at the airport at like three thirty in the morning. Oh, I wow. said, I mean, it's in my suitcase. So, oh, OK, just go ahead. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we do know somebody that has gotten yellow fever in the past and it is it's no fun. It's no oh, fun. So. Just get the shot. Um, the costs vary mm -hmm. uh, depending on the country that you're traveling from. Here in Japan, I had to pay a hundred and around hundred and seventy dollars, but I think in the U.S. it's a bit. Yeah, she's giving me that face like, <laughs> like yeah, three hundred and fifty-eight dollars for <sighs> my yellow fever shot. Yeah, and I went to Passport Health to get that yellow fever yeah. shot. By the way. Mm -hmm. So if anybody would like, you can look them up wherever you are in the U.S. and they should be able to facilitate uh, you. However, uh, excuse me, they should be able to uh, service you. However, it was three hundred and fifty eight <laughs> without so, the medication, without mm -hmm. the malaria medicine. Okay? This is just for the yellow fever shot. Now, yeah. since you mentioned it, yeah, the malaria medication. Right. <clears throat> I'll, I'll speak on that a little bit. So there are two types of medication. Mm -hmm. Right. There's a cheaper form that I think it's it's a couple of pills, right? You can take one a week. Yeah. Right? That's a little bit cheaper. However, we were all told that medication has some significant side effects. Right. Like common side effects. One of those right. side effects being hallucinations. Exactly. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's not something I want to- Not in the heat. I no, 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 no. and all this traveling around on going from country to country to country no way so um went for the more expensive option which you take over a period i think it was around 19 days because you start taking it a couple of days prior to traveling mm -hmm. you of course take it every day that you're on the ground and then after that it's six or seven days after you get back to your country to yeah. your you know, to your home country so mm -hmm. uh Myself, I felt fine, took the medication every day. I didn't have any side effects, yeah. you know, didn't come down with malaria. So I guess it did its did its job because yeah. mosquitoes were biting over there. Yeah. And yeah. um yeah, but felt fine. So you know what? I, I think I only got bit twice while I was over there, and that was like the last day I was there. Mm. Um, but I didn't get bit 
the entire time we were out and doing, which was like, I didn't expect that. I thought I was going to get ate up. I get bit more here than I did there. But um, that was just that one experience. That was just that one time. So I'm not going to act like, you know, you know, you're not getting bit over there. But I got towed up by the beach. Really? I don't, I don't, oh, my I God. He was scared of you or something. I got towed up. <laughs> For real. I didn't know that. OK. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was I was clear in that thing. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so you was clear. Um, what I wanted to add on to the medication part is that. For the malaria medicine, um, they have they have malaria, but then they'll also recommend like I think Imodium AD or something mm -hmm. like that, which is like for diarrhea, I believe. If you get there and you have diarrhea, I didn't have any issues with mm -hmm. any diarrhea or anything like that uh, when I got there, or it's or upset stomach at all. So, but I know they recommend it. I didn't get it. And I didn't have any issues. However, um, it, it's just something that if you know you have issues and you go to different countries or something like that, then you may want to get that too. Yeah, just as a precaution. Yeah, just yeah. as a precaution. Cool. Let's see. Um, also, comments. the malaria medication was about, it'll run you from anywhere from 120 to, in the US, it'll run you from 120, and specifically in Georgia, it'll run you from 120 to 168, I think is what I was quoted. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. But then I went and got, yeah, I was about to say I went to Walgreens and I paid 124 instead of the 168. So oh, that's it, for the malaria medication for the malaria medication that it was like a, like a generic brand that they had available. And so the, uh, the lady who administered my yellow fever shot called me and let me know that I could go to Walgreens and pay instead of paying the 168, there mm -hmm. so i went to walgreens and got it for 128 so you got that back in 2014 sis so yeah maybe just six years of difference they went up maybe like 40 dollars or whatever but yeah because um, i paid two stacks over here dollars. there's wow. no asking for the generic off-brand uh, this is like this is what we got <laughs> so yeah. yeah but that's that so l let's go ahead to the to the next one what was the second thing okay so our next uh yeah, two or four. Money exchange and ground transportation. Yeah. Okay. So the money exchange, yeah, that was that was interesting. So before we travel, we were told, you know, and I think this is probably at, like at most airports, don't exchange a lot of money at the airport because you're gonna get ripped off. The exchange rate is gonna be horrible. Mm -hmm. Um, my experience, I did exchange like the equivalent of a hundred dollars, hundred US. At the airport, I got back like 65. I said, okay, lesson learned. But I needed some needed some local cat, local currency. It came in handy because guess who didn't exchange money, right? You didn't exchange. It yeah, I'm glad I did. Money, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, right. I recommend please exchange at least 100 right. because you get the best rate for the $100 bills. So you want to exchange that when you get there just so, so you can get transportation, you can get food, you can easily move because being that I did not do it, it was a little hard for me. Thankfully, I had, uh, you know, Baba here who, who was able to help me. However, you know, you want to make sure you at least exchange some money. That was like my biggest uh, regret not doing. Um, so just be sure that you at least exchange something so you can move around a lot more easily and you're not, you know, out there getting even more ripped off um you know you know what i mean so yeah yeah because and i'm we're gonna get into you know track getting from the airport to freetown mm -hmm. uh you know we did all of our reservations and it, you know we were reserved did everything in advance uh for the ferry which is how you you know um that's the transportation from the airport to the mainland mm -hmm. but you know, people are helping you with your bags. They want a little something, a little tip here and there, which, you know, it's it's not much money. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's still, it's good to have some currency on you. Oh, okay. um, I think you said it too. You know, if you're coming from the U.S., you want to make sure you have brand new bills, yeah. crisp, new $100 bills, because they'll give you a better exchange rate. Me, I'm tra I was traveling from Japan. I should have gotten USD before I left, but I just had yen. So I think that's probably why I got robbed at the airport. So for the yen, lesson man. learned. People <laughs> yeah. coming from the UK, I don't know. You know, yeah, I'm sorry. Fresh, 
pounds, euro, whatever, whatever, <laughs> yes. you know, right? Um, so, yeah. That, so that, that is something, too, to add to that. Yes. Please be sure that you reserve as much as you can in advance. Do not do not wait. Do not lollygag. Do not pussyfoot around. I'm yep. telling you, it makes a difference. Huge difference. Yeah. Huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, because what all did we do in advance? Yeah, the, uh, the visa. The visa. So visa, uh, yeah, you can get visa on arrival. Glad we did it in advance. Yes. Because it was it was chaotic yeah. at the airport. You know, yeah. it's coming in from everywhere. It's better just have as much paperwork as possible when you get there. Mm -hmm. Make it, uh, yeah, just, it'd be a lot less pain you have to go through. True. Greetings, Chief. Many roots. Uh, you want to talk about the ride from the uh, from the airport <laughs> to, to, the, so, to the mainland. So, so when we get once we uh, so for for this particular trip, simply because COVID was in effect, we had to take our COVID test before we left our uh, prospective countries our respective countries. And then uh, when we got to Sierra Leone, we also had to take another test, right? So once we were done with the test and we linked up those of us who were traveling um, to get, you know, from our countries and, and, and came here, well, came to Sierra Leone, man, first off, thankful, shout out to Lamin. Okay. Oh, um, BSL, our brother at BSL. They hooked us up. BSL, you guys, make sure, I totally recommend them. Uh, Lamin, make sure he got to the airport. He found us. He 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 uh he grouped us together. He gathered us up, okay, and then we rolled. So we went from the airport to to the uh what to the ferry ride. Yeah, the takeoff point, right? The takeoff point. So guys, the takeoff point. It was one of those things where it was like, uh, yeah, this is so beautiful. We we looking at these. I mean, the water looks all smooth and beautiful when it's coming in and hitting the beach. And when you get on that ferry, I was no joke. That was no joke. The waves were kicking up. Those waves <laughs> was throwing punches. Do you right? Know? <laughs> I mean, we was in that thing like. Whoo. Yeah. Whoo. I mean, not even exaggerating. That was and, you, and they give you life jackets, but. Still, I mean, the ways, and what was funny, I remember asking the brother, like, how how long does it take? You know, how long is the ferry ride? He told me a few minutes, which that's something we're going to talk about time a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> but he said a few minutes, a few minutes is like 35, 40 minutes. Yeah. So uh, I said, okay, it's a little, little different over here in terms of time. Oh my God. We made it. As you can see, we survived. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, it was so funny because. Those of us in the ferry, like it was some seasoned ferry riders, and then it was us, right? <laughs> right. But we, yeah. were, one lady's over there praying, you know, and then, and then praying just, loud, praying <laughs> loud. Oh Jesus, like she, <laughs> she was scared, but <laughs> right. We, wow. you know, we're just riding and like, dang, these waves kind of everybody else. Just, yeah. <laughs> Dude in the yeah. back literally yeah. is like he he is like literally a f one foot away from just falling out the boat, and he right. just like standing up, just holding just, on, <laughs> just holding on. Holy he didn't God. have any fear. Like it was so beautiful, but it was funny. I was like, yo. And then we traveled at night, so by the time we got on the boat, mm -hmm. all we dark. see is just darkness. We feel the waves, we hear them, we smell it. And then you see all the light, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, it was just like, okay, this is beautiful. But at the same time, it was like, yo, like. <laughs> Get me to the mainland. Hey, yeah. one more one more tip for everybody. Yeah. When you leave the airport, they actually have, have to drive you to, yeah. the, uh, to the takeoff point for the ferry. Mm -hmm. Now there's two options. You can have a private car yeah. or you can take the, uh, what do they call like a public bus? Yeah, I think a it is the public van bus. or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. We opted for the private car, yeah, which I highly recommend. It's not mm -hmm. expensive. I think it was the equivalent of like ten dollars or something like that. Yeah, because when I lived at that van, people were packed in, and it was it was hot, y'all. Yeah. And the ride was a 
bumpy, a little, little bit bumpy. So definitely go with the uh, the private car. You know, three or four people, you, you'll be real comfortable. Yeah, please go with that. Uh, I I think, not think we all got private. I think I think we all got private. However, I did see everybody packed in there, and it's. I mean, if if that's cool with you, then cool. But uh, me personally. The weather in Sierra Leone, if to me, it felt like Florida, you know, it wasn't like, damn, but it wasn't like, you know, it was it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just say that because um, I, I don't get claustrophobic easily. Mm -hmm. However, when you add in heat and you add in being packed in, it, if you're not used to it, it takes time to get used to that. So um, I, I do recommend that you go for the private, you know what I mean? Um, when you when you first when you first get there in order to get to your ferry yeah and also when you get to the mainland we mm -hmm. had a, another vehicle all of this we reserved through vsl yeah uh and, and that that last uh the last person took us to our, our airbnb so, yeah vsl took they they took care of us for real oh yeah yeah absolutely absolutely all right we got anything else transportation oh, so do oh. you want to talk about ground transportation yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so you, you want to go? No, you got it. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, there's, I'm going to say three, three ways. The KK, which is for those of you who follow us on, on our platform, you most likely saw the video that we showed of the KK inside the KK. The KK is like a little, uh, the best way I can describe it is like, it's like a taxi in a sense of where you can, you know, you pay to go where you need to go. And um, it's a three wheel one. So you got your driver in the front and then you can sit like two or three people in the back, right? right. Uh, so you got the Kekes, you got the Okadas, which are the bikes, which you can sit like, you have the driver and you can sit like two people behind, you know, behind the driver on those. And then you can obviously rent, which is what we did as well. You know, we uh, rented a van for transportation so that we could get around just because we had trips, we had missions, like we were, we were working. Right, when we right. were there. So it wasn't vacation. It was a business for us, you know? Um, and, and however, the transportation there, um, the, the driving in general is different. It's, it's just, it's different. I, I enjoyed it because I got, you get to see us, us in, it was just like, right. us, us. In. <laughs> yeah. You, you know how, you, you know how we just do like, you know, right. it's just like, right. dang, right. like right. nobody is, Honking the horn is communication, which is what you use your horn for. You don't use it just to they like- They used it the proper way. Yeah, yeah, they were using it the proper way. So, you know, it was just like, this is dope. I enjoyed it. However, those are the three main ways that I know of that I, I can remember as far as ground transportation, um, you know, when it comes to getting around in Salon. One second, let me get my charger, but go ahead. Okay, okay. And I heard, I, well, I did see taxis while we were there. Okay. Okay. We didn't take taxis. You're right. You're right. You know, we had a um, for our official business. We did have a, a hired, you know, uh, van which mm -hmm. seated 10, 12 people. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, KKs and motorbikes, uh, they're fun. I just yeah. put it like that. <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy the KK. Yeah. Well, let me just let y'all know the roads definitely are not all like paved and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you literally driving on just like wet. Everyone has carved right. out in certain, yeah, exactly, in certain exactly. places. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, like in the city yeah. center, the main roads are fine. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, there were a couple times, you know, the KK driver or the, or the yeah. driver, they're like, nah, I'm going to hit this shortcut. Yeah. You know? It's fun. Yeah, hold on. It's fun. It's fun, though. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's fun. Really it's like, speed. You kind of just like getting in it. You just, you just, you live in it. You know, it's it's like, you know? Massage, you know? <laughs> what I enjoyed about it is, um, so when we were there, 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 there was like a riot going on, uh, because oh, there's, you know, right. just something going on with a, a police officer or something like that. Uh, bothering the Okada riot, the young Okada. Yeah, bothering the Okada riot, things like that. And, um, what I loved about it is just like the community there. So we're myself and Sister Kenya, but we're in the we're in the KK, right? And so Porter Porter Vans, okay. But uh, we we were in the we were in the KK, and so we're going around looking to. I think we were exchanging money or something, and we got next to the riot, and so everybody's like, "Don't go over there! Don't go over there!" So then we like, it was myself, uh, Sister Kenya, and it was also Chief Chief who put us too. 
And we all like, what's going on? Literally, as we're in the KK, because it's like an open, open door. We're in the KK and literally people are just pulling up next to us, riding, just like, so, you know, th telling us what's going on. Like, and then it's like two or three other people. I have video, yeah. I'll show y'all. But it's yeah. just like two or three other people pulling up. Like, we're all just talking. Like, it's a whole vibe. You just, you don't see that here. It's like, you know, everybody and just people, feel personable. And, and you can live. If you're in a KK, you can reach out and high five the person next to you in the next yep. vehicle. It's <laughs> yeah. right close, you know. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. And you mentioned money exchange. One thing we forgot to talk about is how you exchange money yeah. outside of the airport. Yeah. I did it once. Okay. Me and Brother Madam. Okay. He comes the night we were at the beach, and I said, oh, man, I need to get, get some money. Right. And. He says, okay, we're gonna get a uh, get a get an Okada, get a bike, and we'll ride just about five, 10 minutes, and we'll see a brother and we'll exchange, right? Yeah. It was literally young brother on the street, it's people everywhere. He was like, There he is. I'm like, that's him. Right. Oh, y'all want to exchange some money? He had a giant bag, <laughs> like just a bag packed with money. Gave him a hundred dollar bill, he gave me a stack. Yeah. And my brother Matt counted out, make sure it was good, and we rolled off. So uh, the way I exchanged money, and I got footage of it, y'all. So uh, okay. the way we exchanged money was the same thing. We were just driving, and our driver, Abu, he was a trip. <laughs> he was a trip. But our driver, uh, we, we just literally, it was just like, imagine being like downtown, and you just stop over and wrote, they run up on you like, okay, so like, what we doing? Yeah, what, what yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know? you like, yo, I need this, I need this. They're like, okay, like, you know. <laughs> it, it was dope. I was sitting there like, yo, we really just like got like stacks out like that? Like, <laughs> facts. But that's yeah. how it's done, you know? It was cool. I was done. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Everything is All very right. like open market, you know, for the most part. Every A lot of things are very open market, you know, like, which is actually, I enjoy that because it's like here, like you have to go to the store to get things, right? But imagine, imagine like you could just be driving down the street and potentially get whatever it is you need. If you're thirsty, if you want some food, like it's somebody somewhere selling something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, even before we took that trip, I, I remember hearing someone say, you can do all your shopping while in traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's somebody selling some of everything along the side of the road. For sure. Yeah. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, so, so that was the second <laughs> one. Like, I was, was trying to wipe the money for real, for real. Like, wait, <laughs> y'all just really quick. Like, it was like one minute. It was just so funny because Sister King was like, "So, so who, like, who, who does she look like? Like, what tribe she like? She from, right?" So he's like, mm. and then I think he said. <laughs> I think he said Timney or something. Okay. And okay. Then, but, but anyway, it, it it got out to where it was like like something. I think maybe Sister King was like maybe she Mende or something like that. And you know uh, he was like ah oh, Mende because you know the Timney and Mende. You know they got like a little thing, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was so funny because like the whole time he's like <laughs> he's like ah oh, I don't want to be with Mende, oh. but then he's like I don't care. Like I'm making like, this type shit. <laughs> Uh, so funny, yeah. But um, uh, I enjoyed it. Many roots, many roots, many roots. <laughs> okay. So All then. right. Let's go to number three. <laughs> this adaptable. is a big one. Yeah, very much. Being adaptable. Um, I kind of touched on it earlier when I was talking about you know time. And brother, you know, we were about to take the ferry. He says, oh, yeah, just take a few minutes. And it turned into 35, 40 minutes. <laughs> and that's just, it is what it is. Yeah. You know, nobody else was complaining. So why should I? Right? Yeah. And that's something that we learn even from the next day. Mm -hmm. Time is um, very loose, I'll, yeah. I'll say. Yeah. Um, something, that, yeah, we'll, we'll be there around seven. Yeah, around seven. That could be eight. That could be eight thirty. So, <laughs> <Keyword around. laughs> it, it, seriously, you know, and that's um, that's just how people move. Yeah, you know, but and it all, it all seems to work. You know, yeah. yeah so, uh, 
Yeah. I think, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, they call it black man time. Uh, we call black it CP time. time. CP time, uh, yeah. Yeah, CP time. And it's like, it's like, um, when you, okay, if you, if we're, if we're here, wherever we are, those in the diaspora, right? And we say, hey, we call somebody, they're supposed to be here. And you're like, where you at? And they say, I'm down the street. No, down or, the street. <laughs> I'm on the way. And you just right. know that's going to be 30 or 45. Like, <laughs> right. I'm 15 right. minutes out. That means 45. Like, we, we know that with each other, right? So it's like that and maybe a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like to the max, right? So it's just that synchronicity, that synergistic, you know, vibe that you just got to get used to. And 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 um, being adaptable is so is is so important. You know, uh, the mindset of not being so well. This is how we get around from, or this is where we do here, or you know, because it can it can it can hurt your experience if if you're so caught right. up in doing it how you always do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. You know, after about day three, I think, uh, I don't know if we were going to the beach or something like that. And I think it was cheaper. Can Yeah, we'll be there in like 30 minutes. I was like, oh, yeah, I got time to chill. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be an hour. It's going to be an hour. <laughs> man, <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> rest up. Yeah, just relax. Get something to yeah. eat. Mm-hmm. You know. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's 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 um it's beautiful. Even just like riding with in the KK, um, you mm-hmm. know, it's just like it's being adaptable, not just being like, oh, it ain't no rose, like you know, it's just like enjoy the experience. Like me personally, I enjoy see, I it's like um I I know what the diamond looks like in the rough, you know, mm-hmm. so I'm not concerned with it being, you know, a little rough around the edges, right? I know that myself, I'm the one that will cut that diamond, shine that diamond, right? And it's like that, right? We have to keep in mind Sierra, Sierra Leone is a developing country, yes. right? And is waiting for his picking. It's waiting for for us to come back and to do the work and to 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 uh, work with our brothers and sisters there to to build it up. And so it's like we have to keep that in mind and also enjoy ourselves, enjoy the people, you know. Right. Um, right. That that adaptability, the mindset of that is it, so important. Mm-hmm. And because one thing that I noticed that we all adapt to really quick, we all do it. However, it was a little different there in Salon. So when you give that work in Salon. You go here and then you put it to your heart, right? Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it to your heart, right? Yeah, yeah. So most of the times, we know we do our little thing, we do our daps or whatever. However, everybody there, you do this, they all doing this. Bop, right, bop. right, 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 right. I right. love that. Who yeah. adapted quick? As soon as I saw one person do it, boom, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Because uh, like, one thing is, you don't want to get picked off. You you will if you don't adapt the culture, the like the, the language too. If you don't really get into it, but you don't want to get picked off as if you know you're a foreigner, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they can tell. You want to be able to like vibe in and adapt and be cool, and you know what I'm saying, so that yeah. you can really get a different uh, experience there. There was one day I kind of got quote unquote picked off. Um, if you take a look at our uh, our most recent video on yes. Instagram, right? We were at the beach. It was Independence Day. I'm like, uh-huh. oh man, I'm gonna be so I'm gonna have my salon drip on. Got my cap, got my my fancy frames, you know. And I knew I was missing out. It's like, hey, I'm have you know, just want to have fun. Of course. And, um, they have a term in uh, in salon called JC. Yeah, stands for just come, right? Like you just got here. Right, we can spot yeah. you from a mile away. Right, you ain't from here. And I knew I was gonna say, I know, big deal. Myself, Chief, brother, matter. We were walking, all walking together. Two brothers come running up. Hey, boss, how you doing, boss? Hey, what's going on? You know, they were trying to get a little money from me. They did not approach Chief. They didn't approach brother, matter. You know, they, you know, the extra medium JC. You know, so because I was standing out. But I said, no, nah, man, I'm good. You know, and then they, they kept it moving. So yeah, just yeah, little yeah, stuff yeah. like that. You know. Yeah, of course. You know, it's so it's so uh, it's so important to as much as you can. Like me, uh, we were already learning Creole. Obviously, we speak it within each other, um, mm-hmm. it, within the organization as well. However, it's like, um, uh, you know, it's it, it like Chief said, it's a certain rhythm, right? Even yeah. like walking fast. 
Yeah, that's the thing. Remember, remember when I told you we were walking, uh, we were walking right next to where we were living, and I was like, "Do you see the difference between uh, the the salon and then you see the, the newcomers? How the the difference in the pace, the fast pacing? Do you remember?" Right, that? right, yeah, 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 yeah. We were yeah. walking. It might have been Saturday morning, something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah, of the yeah. same too in like southern states. Like you can you can tell when somebody ain't from there because they go so fast. They just oh, uh, he's city boy. He's from up north. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like that same thing. So um, it's like I I know that too. It's it's the same way in the Caribbean as well. Um, so it's like you can tell, and it's just like Chief was saying, certain fast movements, you know, certain little things like that. It does it does pick you up, and then too when you start talking, right? So yeah, you know, that's, the giveaway, that's the giveaway right there. I, mean, I was putting my best to put on that salon. Oh, I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> y'all yeah, not the back of the van flowing the first day. <laughs> you say what? Where that from? <laughs> you say what? I say when we were when we were headed to uh, Jamakoa. Yeah. And you were sitting in the back, right? And I was like, who was that back there talking like? <laughs> Look, I was like, y'all got to teach me. They wouldn't even let the members in Jeremiah. Our, our members. I was like, look, I don't want to hear no English. Like, talk to me in Creole. I don't want to hear yeah. none of that. <laughs> I was I was mixing it up here and there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I was like, you know, me, I wanted to immerse myself as much as possible and, and adapt, be adaptable, you know, so that um, I knew that certain things you can hear. Because it's like me, right? We hear it in accents, different accents and things like that. You know, it's like if someone doesn't speak Spanish, I know they don't speak Spanish because they sound a certain way, you know? So it's just like, um, just just wrapping all into that, be adaptable, please keep your mind open. Like, just just think about you visiting like a uh, family in, in a way of like people, family members you may not have seen before. You, you just wanna yeah. stay open, you know? You just wanna be able to move and catch the rhythm like Chief was saying. You don't wanna be too rigid and too stuck in how you do things all the time, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's hit this, uh, the last one. Connecting with an organization on the ground. Yeah. It, it's, man, it is so important. I'm so glad that we, we've spent yeah. close to a year mm -hmm. or so yep. around that building, um, talking with our people on the ground, mm -hmm. understanding the daily challenges that they face. Right, right. Electricity. Right. Now, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, water issues and some some other things, right? So we we had that in mind, you know, long before we we took mm -hmm. our trip. Um, but also they were able to help us so much while we were on the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, you think, okay, oh cool, I'm gonna get here, unpack my bags, go hit the store, get some food. Mm -mm. No, it's that no, that first no. night we were like, okay, what are we gonna eat? <laughs> I remember before we took our flight, like, right. they were like, don't worry, we got you, you know. And we went out. It was probably about ten o'clock at night. Fortunately, we had our people on the ground. They said, oh yeah, we can hit this spot, a good spot, you know. Mm -hmm. Got some food. We had, you know, had a fantastic meal. So yeah. little things like that. We never, I don't remember seeing a grocery store. Yeah. Well, was there. Oh, I think you know what I think we saw. I think we saw like little small stores, but you know, little shops, but not like a. I didn't see. If I did, it was I don't remember. If I did, I, I don't really remember. I know I saw some shops that uh, Sister Kenya pointed out to me, but it wasn't um, something that I, like I've seen here. Right. Know? Right. So yeah, even having help with just getting transportation. Mm -hmm. You know, after a few days, I felt like, oh, okay, I can go out here and get me a. Uh, you know, KK or Okada. I felt I didn't do it. You know, we had somebody with me, but I started feeling a little, little comfortable, like I could do it. Um, but even that, you know, getting an Okada, mm -hmm. getting a, a KK, there's a little negotiation happening right before that, right? Mm -hmm. Always ask, oh, okay, how much? You know, uh, you know. Sometimes the guy drive off. Mm -hmm. Right. He's like, nah, I ain't going that far for this distance, blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. So having somebody there yeah. local to help you with that is, is huge. Yeah, it is. Even just like when we went to the market, um, man, yeah. I can't like I enjoy hackling or I'm going to talk you down. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, once right. I got once I saw how it was done, I was like, I was in that thing. Like, OK, like, <laughs> but it's important because not only price. 
right? Um, just how things normally go versus how they're presented to you when somebody know you JC, right? So it's like, it's a different. So when you have someone on the ground that you, that you trust, that you know, you've been working with, you, you know, you connected, it's like they go to bat for you. So they're going to look out for you. They're going to make sure that you get salon price. They're going to make sure you, you know, because it, it is different. It's just like in any place, it's not just salon. You, you can, you'll find that here in Atlanta. If I find out that you're not from Atlanta and yeah. you come here, and you want something from me? I'm gonna charge you a. There's a premium. There's, you go, yeah. You go get that, yeah. that out of town price. Yeah, you get that <laughs> out of town yeah. price. So it's the same thing there, and it's just, um, you know, you want to have somebody that's familiar with not only that, but even when you get in a KK, you need to know where you're going specifically, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If they know salon, so they're able to say, oh, this, this, that, that place, this place, that place, you know. Um, Chief said the anti JC tax brigade. Yeah, anti JC tax brigade. <laughs> right. Right. And you, you talked really? about the, the market. I'm so glad we have Mama T with us, Mama Woo! Teresa. She not only helped us at, at the big market, you know, when we were buying souvenirs and, and, and clothing and things like that, because she was not accepting any first price. Mm -mm. She's like, oh, no. You know, like, uh -uh, no, no price was good enough. But even outside, I remember we were, um, what were we doing that morning? It was a couple of young sisters selling fruit. Yeah. Even, even even that, something as small as fruit, mm -hmm. you hear a price and it's like, ah, this is nothing. You know, yeah. she's like, mm -mm, no, 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 no. Yeah. You can do better than that. So. Yeah. And I, and I wanted to touch on that. You said it. Um, I'm glad you said that. So for those of us who are coming to Salon or really to any place where the, the price is so much cheaper than what we're used to paying in our, our respective countries, um, it's easy to be like, oh, it's just a dollar. I'll take that. Right. Right. But what happens is you begin to get picked off. People remember that they'll tell somebody else and it becomes very apparent that you're JC and, you know, it's like you, you don't want to go there with this charity mindset. Right. This is why we right. say get in an organization that's mm -hmm. doing work that mm -hmm. you can say you're a part of that you're actually doing work to help and build uh, sustainability rather than that charity mindset, right? Because that charity mindset is going to get you picked off and taken advantage of, right? Absolutely. Don't do it. Absolutely. Not even. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very important. Yeah. Hold on, I'm just checking some of the comments here. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, Brother Conde. Yeah, it, yeah, Brother Conde. You know, it's, it's, a long, it's a beautiful country, mm -hmm. you know. People are beautiful. We uh, very friendly, warm, and welcoming. Beautiful beaches, that. But it's a developing a country, you sure. know. And we, there's a lot of poverty. This is this is real. But with that said, like Sister Lola just mentioned, you know, don't go over there with this charity mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, our organization, what we're trying to do is build something sustainable for the people. Just mm -hmm. even though it may not um, seem like a lot, but uh, okay. Um, seem like a lot, 50 cent here, a dollar here, you're going to become a target. And then again, you're not creating anything sustainable, sustainable for the people because you're only going to be there for a week or two. So yeah, um, sustainable, sustainable yeah. development and charity are incompatible. 100%, like 100%. It is so important, no matter what country that you're going to, that you purpose and, and you purpose to see that you need to also be a part of uh, developing that country, the, the communities the, in some way, you know, bring sustainability. Don't just come and be like, oh, I'm going to just give out money because it ain't nothing but a dollar, 50 cent. Like, don't do that. First off, it can be degrading. OK, absolutely. It can be very degrading because you you looking like, oh, this ain't nothing mm -hmm. to me. But it's like if you put yourself on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't don't please don't do that. Be sure that, you know, you're coming because then it's like when people see that you you're not about that charity stuff, they have more respect for you. That's what I noticed. I yeah. noticed they have more respect for you. They're like, oh, OK, you know, this is what you want. OK, cool. Rather than just, oh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Right. It's, it's, it's different. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you all, we are almost at the end of today's broadcast. I um, guess we'll do a wrap up with a little housekeeping. Yes. Uh, most of you know how to get in touch with us, gullaleon.org. Mm -hmm. 
shoot us an email there if you're just interested in you know learning more about what we're doing yes. uh, you want to join the organization mm -hmm. you can do so through our website uh we have this registration form it has a few questions on it uh mm -hmm. you know you can hit that link and uh, we will definitely get back uh back to you yes uh, of course just a couple of other things here. If you would like to donate to the cause, mm -hmm. uh, you see our donor box link. It's yeah. uh, scrolling at the bottom. 100% uh, of the funds that you donate goes towards our initiatives and your uh, donations are tax deductible. Right. And you can uh, just wanted to add, you can see, make sure you, you subscribe. Make sure you uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, Gullah House Media. Make sure you for your um, you're being notified on our Facebook and our IG posts because we are showcasing the work that we do like in real time, showing you got like we we went there, put our eyes on the very projects that we have been building and ourselves and the members on the ground. And so it's important that you guys go check that out because don't just believe our words, right? See the videos, see the people, see. Hear, hear everybody in Salon talking about many rules, one fan book. You got you to gotta experience it. Absolutely. And just one last thing, if you want to pick up some merch, you can head on over to our store. I'm going to actually, yeah, Sister Lola is actually rocking one of our one of our T-shirts right there. Give me just a second. Gullah Lee owns store. I trust <laughs> everybody can see that. Yay. Right. We got hoodies. We got t-shirts. Yes. Okay. We're going to try to get some uh, other apparel, different types of apparel and accessories. And the proceeds go to our initiatives. So 100% you know, of proceeds go towards our initiatives. So. Right. Right. So I know and, some people kind of be like, ah, about donating. Right. However, at least you get a shirt. Right. So you can, yeah. you can get, you can buy a shirt and that can, that's a donation. You get something, we get something. Right. And then we, that goes towards us being able to um, help in our initiatives and fund those initiatives. So um, please make sure that you check out the, the, the link below. All right. And yeah. with that said, we're going to close out. We thank you again for joining today. Apologies for the technical issues at the, at the yeah. top of the broadcast. We will get better at this. So uh, as we say, many roots, many roots, one fambo. fambo. Yay. Peace everybody. We'll see you again next week. All right. Sister Antonisha, just all right. Peace out, Sam. Many roots. All right.